Good morning, I'm Pete. Good afternoon, I'm Matt. We've just nipped to Holford's. Um, today's the day that we get the bumper back on, so whilst it's on, we're going to paint the hellos, aren't we? Yeah, we're going for uh, enamel spray paint, gold chrome. Hopefully not too tacky, <laughs> but if we're going for gold wheels and gold little accents, then it should be all right. So the little hella horns should be a, a nice gold colour poking through the grill. Yeah, it should, should be nice and quick as well. And we're not going to prime it, we're just going to spray it, because if it looks awful, then at least we can take the paint off, order some new ones online or, you know, so we're just trying at the moment. Yeah, and we figured out that because they're only tucked behind the grill, the grill was like the easiest job ever. It's seconds, so literally, literally seconds. like we can just clip it off and um, if it's good, we'll give them a little sand and a, a proper uh, primer and then a spray up. But for now, it's just see what it looks like, see, see how we can get it done. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, let's go and get that bumper set back on. Part two, um, so first things first, we've just got back from Halfords. We're gonna whip these hella horns off and see if we can spray them. They look a little bit pink at the moment, so. Could look really good, it could look really tacky. Could be the tackiest mod you've ever seen. But. Yeah. Not too bad, actually. A little gasket on there. Yeah. Is that like an actual speaker? It is. It's weird. Okay, so here we go. There's one. Is it saying it's full again? Full. Definitely ain't full. I know these need a bit more of a clean, really, but for now we're just seeing what the paint's like. Yeah. Moment of truth. Nice technique. <laughs> actually, mate, I think that's going to look really cool. Should look alright, actually. Right, <coughs> yeah, now I'm breathing in too. Should look alright, shouldn't it? White shorts are a bad choice. <laughs> Yep, we're looking good. Okay, so we'll give them a bit to dry and let's wipe this bumper off. Give it a second coat then, can't we? Okay, so we've lo loosely rested the bumper back on just so we can do what we said we weren't gonna do, which is cable tying the bumper back on the sides. Yeah, but after some research and looking around and a bit of Subaru forums, it turns out everyone just cable ties the bumpers on. So yeah. <laughs> we're, we're I not, can see why. Yeah. So we're not... Uh, Gonna break from the norm. <laughs> no, it's an official Subaru fix, that isn't it? It's a cable tie, but then yeah. put it together again. So yeah, loosely rested on the actual bolts that were holding the bumper in place in the front. They're all previously damaged from. If you watched our first video, we said someone originally tried to steal this bumper, um, so that's why that's damaged. Not from us, thankfully. Um, so we're going to use the bolts where they need where they needed most. Bolt the sides cable tie by the wheels and then find a way of feeding this through uh, and attaching it not making it look crap. Ah, oh, he stung to hell as well by the metal. Oh, can lay on a patch this thing a little. In the jungle there. In the jungle. <laughs> My neck's killing that. I bet, mate. Don't know what I've done to that. Whiplash? Yeah. I'm suing. <laughs> like McDonald's. <laughs> fly. <laughs> a fly. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> it's a blue bottle. <laughs> Cable ties is like my best friend now. Aren't they just? I do like um, the old bonnet clips, was that? 
den der baby spark om hat. <laughs> That's definitely more secure now than it yeah. was before. We're good. Right, bumper successfully back on. Yeah, we're back on. Um, Hella's still drying. Yeah, Hella's are drying, but there was um, a couple of clips. Oh, that doesn't look good there, does it? Ooh, that was a nice click. Yeah, so there's a few clips that uh, were missing, but we've kind of botched it together with a couple of bolts few cable ties and it's pretty solid now it's definitely more solid than when we started which definitely. was a good thing well half these ones on the front weren't even attached they were underneath the bumper itself weren't they? Yeah. they weren't attaching it so that's already better yeah so let's try and get this face here back on what do you reckon with this little clip is there anything for it to attach to i can to take that off for now and it'll just hold in place that might be better might it yeah the only thing you could attach it to would have been the roof of the bumper but then you're drilling into it so which wouldn't be bad, but... No. Yeah, that's not very solid, so we'll have to tie it somehow. It does actually look pretty cool. I mean, there's a big gap around it, but... Worst comes to worst, you could drill. If we make out, if we get another fascia, we could just drill that into up into top. it if we're painting it and stuff anyway. It might be better, might it? Mm. That's where we end up driving along and <laughs> it unravels itself and there's like a schlong hanging out the front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Elephant's trunk going under the car. <laughs> it's waving around, flapping about as you go around the roundabout. It's like uh, Nunu off telly <laughs> That looks nice, so, mate, honestly. Keep like, obviously, it's not finished, but... Grillless. <laughs> New it's look. actually not a bad look. <laughs> Intake done, bumper back on. Just hellers and grill to fit. Yep. Okay, so, um, hellers are dry and catching the sun. And they look pretty good, actually. Nice and shiny. Yeah, very shiny. Yeah. I think that's uh, good enough. Like we say for now, it's just to um, kind of test the colour, see what it's going to look like. So we probably will take them back off again and primer them. But yeah. For now, we're just going to whack them on because it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is weird. That's like a actual speaker. Little speakers, yeah. Shiny golden hellers. So what are we thinking, grill or no grill? Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's a good look, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Looks so mean like that. So that's cold air feed and horns done. Cold air feed here and nice bit of a replenish. Still that actually, them, yeah, yeah, that looks really smart actually. All right, well that is a job well done. There's only one thing left to do, which is to uh, put some stickers on the back windows mm. and then we're literally good to go. So sticker time. We got these from Static Decals on Instagram and we'll put a link on. He does some really good stuff actually, doesn't he? Nice and varied. Um, and some of them seem like holographic. I've seen some nice gradients, some carbon effect ones. Yeah, seems like really good quality laser cut as well. Yeah. Looks like that. Very nice. Okay, so there we go. Another job complete. Yeah, um, off the list. Addition of obviously doing the horns as well. So yeah. not too hard. The most challenging part was getting around the logistics of sorting the bumper out. Other than that, the actual intake and the cold air feed was fine, wasn't it? Like, yeah. 
So we managed to get the bumper on probably more secure than it was. Mm, definitely. But that's with added cable ties. But at the end of the day, we had a little look on a couple of forums and everyone uses cable ties, so. Yeah, and it's easier for us to get it off again should we need to, which yeah. hopefully we won't need to. We still have got like probably 10 bolts overall on it. Yeah. And the plastic pushing thing. So we've got plenty that's on true. it, but there is a few cable ties, but. So we're thinking next we're going to do a custom splitter, which might be pretty good to watch. Definitely. Um, so we're going to try and do the one with the struts. Um, and just obviously with the air ride, that'll make the difference between other ones with that type of bumper because you'll be literally sat on the floor yeah. when we go to shows and stuff, so it should look pretty cool. We can work it as a snow plow when it gets snowy at the end yeah. of the year as well. So. Perfect for a snow plow. <laughs> um, and also we're going to try and get the boot done fairly soon as well. Yeah, battery yeah, needs looking at, but also just tidying it up in general. Um, yeah. No loose wires, potentially some removal of floorboards. Um, yeah, and battery acids. And battery acids, yeah. So cheers for watching again guys, um, if you have been watching our Insta stories we were putting a few photos up as this was going on so you may already have known that this all went relatively uneventfully, um, but if not, it'd be awesome if you gave us a follow, we're putting stuff on there most days, um, including what we're up to when we're not filming videos, so a lot of stuff can't appear on the yeah. channel for We have a lot reasons. of stuff going on, so some of it's quite interesting, so. Yeah, uh, but we do like to sort of show you guys when we do go around something quite cool, so um, yeah. keep, keep follow in our uh, Insta stories. So uh, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys, Cheers. take it easy. Boom.